Finally, I would like to introduce uh, to the stage a different kind of startup. Now, as part of our mission here at Peace Tech, we work with nonprofits from around the world who are looking to affect social change. Um, and the nonprofit you're about to hear from has been operating very successfully uh, in India for the last 10 years. And what they're looking to do is develop an innovative and groundbreaking solution around a proven model that has worked for the last decade. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Deb Farrick and Jessica Mayberry of Video Volunteers. Ladies. Hi, everybody. We're video volunteers, and we want to talk to you about storytelling, specifically storytelling that makes change. This is Jharkhand, India, and there in the hills of that village, children were being fed rat meat as part of the government-subsidized school lunch program. The story was identified and told by Shika Parin, a video volunteers correspondent who comes from one of India's poorest tribal villages. The story appeared on Video Volunteers' website and was then picked up by one of the most prominent news organizations in India. Well, the minister in charge was invited on air, called to task, and he agreed to fix the shameful school lunch program. That is impact. That's just one of the thousands of stories that our correspondents, women like Shika, have produced over the last 12 years that have benefited millions and millions of lives. I'm Jessica Mayberry, and I'm the founder of Video Volunteers. We're a media organization working primarily in India, enabling people to tell stories that make change. And I'm Deborah Farrick, a journalist and for 20 years a national correspondent in CNN. I told thousands of stories personally, from the terror attacks against the United States, to the ongoing cybersecurity threat, to social protest movements, as well as the tragedy of the heroin epidemic. Shika is a prime example of what a good citizen journalist is. Because in telling her story, she not only transformed the people in her village, she also transformed herself. Changing a culture of inequality begins by finding your own voice. That is what Video Volunteers' mission is all about. This is a model that works. It's so effective that we're currently being studied by the University of Virginia and the MIT Media Lab. Our model has four steps. Teach, share, impact, and sell. We teach people living through injustice very simple formulas for shooting and editing videos on their phones. Then we set up media distribution ecosystems in villages that didn't have them, using a combination of, of, of all the tools that we use, Facebook, YouTube, and WhatsApp, and live video screenings. Then they take these videos to government officials delivering very strong calls to action that compel the officials to heed what they are saying. Finally, selling and distribution. So all of the stories goes on to our news website and we sell it to lots of the leading media organizations in India. We get four million views a month on YouTube, which makes us the largest nonprofit YouTube channel in the country. So currently, we have 250 community correspondents who are reporting from the 200 poorest districts in India. This effectively means that we're covering about one third of the country. And in these media, media dark areas, we are the only people doing high quality, non-corrupt video journalism. So there are about 5,700 stories that we've uncovered. And in the last year alone, more than 30% of the content that we've produced has actually managed to solve the problem that the video is about. And this problem is bigger than just India. This problem is here in the United States. Americans are starving for substance. They want input, they want to make a difference, they want to play a role. There's a crisis in journalism. There's a crisis in politics. There's a crisis in social media in which the nation is essentially, in the words of Abraham Lincoln, divided against itself. Think about this. 300 hours of video is uploaded to YouTube every single minute 
social impact storytelling is drowning in a sea of selfies and cat videos. <laughs> Citizen journalism hasn't even begun to reach a fraction of its potential impact. Why? Because when people upload a story, it's as if they're saying, I've identified the problem, but what they haven't done is answered the question, now what? So in an age, right, think, think, about, think about a storyteller in Flint, Michigan, for example. We went to YouTube and we identified, the pro, uh, identified a video there that was uploaded a full year before the national media had picked up on the contaminated water coming out of pipes. We believe that had someone who'd been able to tell that story in a way that was stronger using the model of video volunteers on a platform that's easily findable, we believe that the problem would have been identified sooner and the people there would have been kept safer sooner. Content right now is king. Millions, billions of dollars are being invested by companies to develop original content. People right now are telling stories, personal stories, and they're uploading them to social media. We believe that those stories can be transformed and that these companies will invest in transforming personal stories into social impact storytelling. It is the right time. We have the right tools. We have the right model. We believe that video volunteers can help train and provide a platform for citizen journalists on a scale never before seen. We believe we have found the secret sauce to the future of citizen journalism. So today we're seeking $250,000 in grant contributions in order to bring our model from India to the US and to create this network of storytellers. We're seeking contacts in the world of media and social impact investing. And our goal is to create a content and distribution platform that harnesses the power of personal storytelling that is in each one of us and also the power and the desire to make change. So, this is our team in, 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 here in the U.S. There's also Nancy Vick, who's a, a marketing strategist. This is our board. And these are some of our mainstream media partners, the biggest names in, in the Indian media, and we are confident that we, can, that we can harness the same quality of partners here in the U.S. These are some of our funders and awards that we've won. We're funded by Open Society Foundation, UNFPA, UNDP, Oak Foundation, and... I'm a fellow of TED, Echoing Green, and Ashoka. Video Volunteers is not just about storytelling. Video Volunteers is about storytelling that makes change. If you had a story, who would you tell? Tell us. I'm Deborah Farrick. I'm Jessica Mayberry. We're Video Volunteers, and we hope to hear your stories after the presentation. Okay.